All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Seopolis. I promise we don't have a leak in our roof. <laughs> Who am I kidding? There seems to be a leak everywhere. But guys, last episode we went ahead and set this bad boy up. Are these two bad boys up? Uh, this is 100% full. Now we're just kind of generating up some leaves. Kind of. Well, I mean, they're still getting processed into here. So, I mean, that's good. But, uh, yes. Um, the pipe is full and the tank is full. 14 buckets. So that means we can go ahead and make a bunch of the overworld matter, which I'm excited about. So, uh, last episode, we also went ahead and set up this induction smelter, which, by the way, will make us the electrum stuff and all of the alloys that we put in and some additional ones. But yeah, this is connected up to our windmill up there and our pitiful generator, which we need to go ahead and add in some more power, because, you know, more power, baby. Um, so that's going to be helping us out. But uh, we wanted to go, like, last episode, we unlocked this area. And so we have the blast chiller, the pulverizer, the redstone furnace, the, the multi-press servo, uh, sequential fabricator, fluid, and sawmill. So what we really want to make today is the blast chiller and the uh, multi-servo press. Um, now I'm going to go for the blast chiller first. Um, that doesn't mean we're not going to be focusing on that, but I really want to get netherrack automated. And then we are going to be getting this guy next. Uh, so they're both pretty easy to make, but we are going to need some more of these, which is why we have the Electrum ingots. Is there a cool way to make these into gears? Um, let's see. There's no... Well, the multi-press servo. Maybe we aim for this first, then. Um, that's probably not the worst idea in the world. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. So we have some copper here. We also need to get toward digital storage as quick as we can. So there's the constant tan that we need. We're going to go ahead and get that smelted up here real quick. Make sure that that's off. Okay. Constant tan. There you are. And then we're going to get the... Where's the gear? I've made a mistake in my calculations. There it is. There's the gear. Good. I like gear. All right, put that in there. And then we're also going to need, obviously, Electrum. We do have a couple of iron plates, but we are going to need some more. Some more power, baby. All right. So Constantan should not mix with iron. We're going to make uh, two of these because we're going to be making two of the machines today. All right, and with both gears made up, we can go ahead and the Constantine should be good. All right, iron, here we go. Plates. Um, it actually, yeah, we're going to we're going to get all the iron out here with plates. I was going to say we should get rid of the Constantine, but I've already put the iron in. Oh well. We'll just make a few of these. I'll just keep an eye on it. All right, so there we go. We have 16 iron plates, which is perfect. All right, and then we're also going to need to start smelting up the electrum. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those in there. In the meantime, though, we do need to get that constant tan out. We've got over a block, so I am going to do that real quick. And then we're going to get three ingots so we can just get it out of the way, and that way we don't accidentally uh, cast it into something that we don't want. All right, so all the Constantan is out now. All we have here is Electrum. So we're going to turn this on, let it run for a while. We have quite a few. I believe it's like half a stack almost. And hopefully this cool or this cool dolphin doesn't die again. That would be really sad. Because dolphins are cool. Don't die on me, guy. Okay, so we have all of the materials that we need now. Let's go ahead and take a look here. All right. Uh, where's my bronze? Oh, that's a constant tan gear. I've made a mistake. Oh, man. Oh, give me a second. All right. Bronze gear acquired. Now we can go ahead and make both of those. We are going to need to make a block of iron. Super duper easy. What else? We have it. Oh, man. All right, look at that. Do we have any coal left over whatsoever, or did I use it all? I think I might have used it all. 
that's okay. Because we do need to go ahead and make a bunch. That's silver. Wow, that's a lot of silver. We need some tin. Tin, 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 tin. All right. Got tin. Okay, so then we just need clay. Um, I should have a bunch. We need to fix this setup a little bit so I don't have to keep running down here for it. No worries, though. Okay. So those are off. We've got those. Okay, let's get tin processed up and a bunch of clay. Do I have my bucket on me? I don't. Oh, Mr. Bucket, where did you? There you are, Mr. Bucket. All right, so now we can come over here. We can actually utilize this farm that we made last episode. And then we should probably put like a drain or something over there. We can click it. Click it again. No, we need more buckets. There's a lot of freaking clay in there. Holy crap. I didn't realize how much clay I put in there. Every time we do that, it gets bigger. It's fantastic. We still, like, I'm going to keep doing this until it says we can't anymore. Ah! I messed up. Okay. Still got some more tin. That's okay. Oh my gosh, how many buckets are we going to be putting in there? Oh my gosh. Only got 320 blocks in there, holy crap dudes. Upgrading the smeltery, like making it bigger, fantastic idea. 400 blocks. Okay, we're going to chill it at uh, that amount. I'm going to start collecting these guys. Um, and I'll continue to fill it up. But, oh my gosh, 438 blocks. It's like completely full. That looks cool. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to let this process for a while, and I'll be back in a bit. All right, so we use the remaining amount of tin in there, combined it up with the clay and the organic water, and now we have 695 plus uh 210 so we have quite a bit of the overworld matter uh which is good because we'll be able to sift it up very shortly and get a bunch of coal and stuff uh so now that we have the multi-press server we need to get the blast chiller which is what i really want so we need to get uh two of these guys there we go all right and now we're just missing an invar gear which we should be able to get. Yep, there we go. Um, we should smelt these bad boys up. If, like, we'll probably have to turn that off for a second so we can make the gears. Uh, we just need two of them. And then some glass. We just have a little bit over here. We got a whole bunch of seared brick. We have a lot more than we need. Uh, oh, well. So, yeah, we just got to wait. Okay, we can do it now. All right, turn that guy off. Switch over to the Invar. And we make the gears. Excuse you. All right, both the Invar gears have been made. We'll switch back over to Overworld Matter. Let that process up. And we'll grab our Invar gears. Cool. So we can go ahead and make this blast chiller now. Now, I do believe we need to pump it full of fluid. Uh, so we'll be using a flopper to do that. Bam. Blast chiller is ours. I do have a flopper available. But getting power to it is going to be a little messy, which is something I'm not too happy about. Yep. Here's our flopper. So power is here. Uh, I think the best bet would just be to put it like that. And then we'll sneak around outside and put the flopper in. 
All right, there we go. Got an infinite source above it, which is perfect. This isn't how we get out. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in my own creation. Okay, we're good. So if we look, if we set this, yep, there we go. We got water. Cool. Now all we gotta do is supply it power, and we'll be golden. Um, now what do we do for the universal cables? All right, this is just bronze and uh, the red boy. Bronze block, do we have any more? We have some, perfect. All right, and then just one of these guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do is pop a little hole right here for our power, and then we're gonna route it underneath, and it should be able. Again, this is super duper temporary. Oh, we're down. we missed it by one. We need one more. Ah, oh, we got two more. Perfect. And boom. So that blast chiller should now be creating ice for us. Yes, okay, so now we're gonna get a drawer. And we are going to put that drawer above it. Well, I probably just have to make one, oh well. Make a drawer real quick. All right, and then break the glass. Oh frick, it's all gone to crap. All right, please don't tell me we made any obsidian. No obsidian. We good, that somehow didn't wreck everything. Where did this water source go? I don't know. It's gone, who cares? All right, so now we're gonna push out the top. Uh, auto output enabled. Yes, there we go, it's making ice for us. Perfect, so our ice maker is working. Uh, so this will just continue to make it until this is full and this is full, and then we will turn it into the packed ice and then the blue ice. But bam, that is what we definitely wanted. All right, so ice, uh, I don't have any, oh, I don't have any use of making snowballs just yet, but we will try to complete that quest here very shortly. Um, do I have any extra blue? Something's on fire. It's okay, don't worry about it. Fire tick is turned off, because I'm cool. Okay, there we go, we got that repaired. Uh, now we have ice. And now we have packed ice. Cool. We can make the blue ice here really shortly. Ooh, this e ooh, back up. This even allows us to make obsidian. Oh, we put lava in it. Okay, so we're gonna have to make an another one of these, which isn't too difficult for us to make. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna let that run for a bit. And I am going to hijack this mesh, put it back here, and we're gonna sift up a whole bunch of this overworld matter. I'll be back in a bit, guys. All right, guys, let's go ahead and put this uh, this press to use. We got 46 coal here. I just got done, uh, as you can see, uh, sifting through a whole bunch of that overworld matter. And this should yield us one diamond. Perfect. Oh, my goodness, guys, we got the diamond. So cool. Okay, so... I believe, yeah, we need a total of four, so we need a total of two stacks. So I need to do a lot of sifting here, or we could just shut this guy down for a sec. Take that out. 
Okay, I guess I, I guess you could do that. And then we're gonna come over here because we still have a bunch of this stuff that's being processed. We can just put that there and let it sift up on its own because automation is fun. All right, there we go. So this is doing its stuff. It's gonna be uh, processing everything up. So we're gonna let this go for a bit and we'll be back. Yeah. Okay, so we got two more diamonds about to be processed up here. Uh, we have used all of the coal. We have only got 10 left. Oof. Uh, how are we doing over here? Oh, look at that. Almost three more stacks. So cool. How many more we got? 263. I love this new smeltery. It's so fantastic. Oh, man. All right, we'll just do that for now. Let that get done processing there. And so that way, we can put these in there and have a good time. Uh, I've just been like pretty much AFK here because this thing does uh, sift faster than if I were to do it there, uh, especially if I hold an apple. Uh, it just just zips right through it. So I'll let this. I, I pretty much just go AFK, holding click. I that yeah, that's how it goes. All right, and so with these uh, pieces of coal, we should have enough to make our remaining diamonds, which is fantastic. Uh, let's see, is there any other cool way? Now nah, we can't use charcoal or anything. It'd be really easy to use charcoal, which is probably why I don't have it in here. Oh, well. So there's our diamond. We have our total of four. Okay, and for the quests, we need this, a redstone servo. Um, so then we take our four diamonds, put them back in here. Oh, we need one of these. Invar Electrum Gear. Okay, so we can make that. No worries. Let's do it. Okay, you're going to have to stop. Um, there we go. It was Invar and Electrum, so let's go ahead and grab those. Got some electrum here. One, two, three, four. And then where do we put the invar? There it is. One, two, three, four. Grab the plates as well. I don't know why we keep bringing this back with us. Okay, so we'll smelt these guys up. Boom, boom. We're only up to 138 blocks left. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Actually, we have everything for it. I did not realize. So this is what we're making. And then we need the Invar plates. So we can eat all of the delicious things. Just kidding. So we need four of these total, I think. Uh, we might need more. Nope, we just need... Well, we're good. Okay, so we have two, three, and numero four. Perfect. All right, come on. I believe you can fly. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Gear working die. Put that in there. Then this puts it into a gear. Perfect. Then we just need the red alloy, which we should have quite a bit left somewhere. Yep. One, two, three, four. Then the diamond gear. And then just some eye iron. All right, there we go, and that should be everything for the redstone servo. Yes, sir. All right, now we want to make the diamond mesh. This is what we want, so induction smelter. So we're going to need a total of 16 of those guys. Holy heck, Batman. Okay, so we'll put, uh, we'll put this guy in here and this guy, and then we're going to work on getting the redstone boys. Um, so we're going to need to make one more of these. Okay, so I should have brought all the copper over. Yep, there we go. And then we just need one copper, one redstone. Okay, so we're going to take these guys out real quick. Get him, him, one, two, three, four, like so. And then while we are waiting, I'm going to go ahead and get the gold smelted. 
and ready to be poured. Yeah, we should be good. The gold shouldn't mix with anything in there. All right, there we go. We got our two that we need. And the gold is almost smelted. All right, and I'm going to be here a bit clicking away. Something just died. Is that a Nautilus shell right around? Something like that. And so we have our 16 um, redstone flux coils. So we're going to be putting them in here like this. And, wow, this is going to take a while. Okay. Um, holy crap. Why is that taking so long? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Look at that progress. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll be here for a while. Uh, we'll see how long this takes. All right. So I figured while this thing smelts up, let's go ahead and just get an upgrade for it. Uh, this is the Harden Inter Integral Components, whatever it's called. We have almost everything that we need for it. So let's just go ahead and make it. Um, yeah, it should be pretty easy. Let's throw that in there. We need the the that guy, and then we'll need to grab some invar real quick. Let's see. All right, there's the invar. This is just two glass, and then the gold gear. Yes. All right, so the gold should be done by this point. Yes, sir. All right, into there you go. All right, there it is, and there's our gold gear. Let's go ahead and make up the upgrade and see how much faster that allows us to craft or to make this. All right, it's definitely moving faster, uh, but just not by much. And look at that, we're already back up to full power. Man, I love this thing. I would lo also like to get a solar panel right here. I believe it works through uh, glass, uh, but I'm not too sure. But we're going to go ahead and click this here. We got five of those quests completed, uh, and then we'll be working on this later. But now that we have the diamond mesh, um, this will allow us to get coal much more frequently. And we'll even get diamonds from sifting from it. So we'll just set this bad boy up here and it will be good to go. Almost done. Come on. Do it. Do it now. And da, 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 there it is. Bam. Diamond mesh. We're getting frame rate weird. All right. So let's see how you do. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at all of that. It's beautiful. All right, we'll let that get processed up. We'll continue to get our molten overworld blocks out of here, and we'll see how many diamonds we get with just, over, with just under a stack. How are we doing on storage? We are doing terrible on storage. Oh, man. Yeah, you know, screw it. We're just going to go overworld matter. I don't want to have to worry about it. Okay, so we're getting lots of redstone, which is good. Have we got a diamond from sifting yet? Yes, we have already. Dang. Can we convert this into 32? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Diamond crook. That sounds fantastic. Oh, man. Reinforced survivalist strainer. Man, we're in the end game now. I'm just kidding. We're not even close to the end game. Uh, oh, we're up to two already. Holy frick. All right, I'm going to go AFK here doing this again, our fun thing, and we'll see how much we get. 
All right, I just got done. Let's have a look here. And I didn't configure it back right. Give me a second. Nine, nine diamonds from that. Holy crap, dudes. This is fantastic. Oh man, I am excited. Aqueous accumulator, okay. It fills buffer with water. Okay, that's not that good. Collects resin from trees that grow around it. That could be good. Resin. Resin, what are you used for? Um, Rosin? Okay, so nothing, nothing that good. About sap. Syrup. I don't know. Um, the accumulator, igneous extruder. Oh wait, that's weird. You can right click that. I never knew that. Makes cobblestone and other blocks. Works like in world cobblestone generators, meaning place certain blocks underneath will make the block instead. Oh, okay. So this will replace our dudes. I think we definitely want this. Um, okay. So let's take take some diamonds. We'll smash them together. We're gonna make two of these guys. Um, we need more copper, more iron. That'll give us four. Am I really that low on iron? All right, let's go ahead, make up two of these. Bam, there they are. All right, Igneous Extruder needs four Invar. All right, looks like it needs a little bit of glass, too. That's not it. All right, so now we just need a piston and a Constantine gear. Remember that Constantine gear last episode that we accidentally made? It's coming into handy this episode if I can freaking find it. Welp, looks like I can't find it. No worries. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get some more smelted up here. Turn that off. Grab the gear. It's not in here either. I don't know where those went. That's just really weird. All right, with that one done, uh, all we need to do is just craft up a piston, which is super easy. All right. And with that, the Igneous Extruder, bam, is ours. All right, let's see how this thing works here. Uh, we place it down. Information generates various types of stone. Requires an adjacent lava source and cooling. The block beneath will affect the product. Okay. So we need lava next to it and a cooling block. Let's try this out. Um, we're going to do a controlled environment because I don't want to accidentally lose this thing after we just spent a whole lot of time. Not really a whole lot of time, but a, a good deal of time creating it. I don't really feel like losing it very quickly. So uh, we'll put this guy here. We'll place some lava like so. And then maybe some water here. Okay, so with that there, um, there's water all around me, but where do I get my water? <laughs> I need a sink. All right, so like this maybe? Yeah, there it is. And we are generating smooth stone. Okay, so that makes it simpler. We don't need an auto block breaker. Um... It doesn't seem to be directional, though. Like, we can't just output from the top, which is kind of a bummer. Let's see. Let's grab a, uh, a drawer real quick. I really need more of these on hand at, like, all times. Okay. Okay. So if we do this, does it put it in? No, we will have to pump it out, which is unfortunate. Okay, but that will definitely make it easier. 
Uh, but if we remove the lava, yep, it goes away. Okay, so we still need, it doesn't really take place, but it does allow us to kind of contain it a bit better. I wonder, if we put this in front, would it do that? The reason I was saying that is it looked like this, this face here was active, kind of like how this one's lava, lava, I assume that's lava. Okay, so it's probably filled up by now, yeah. All right, so we do have smooth stone generated kind of like wherever we want, so that's pretty neat. All right, so I do have full intentions of moving our cobble production probably over here like our resource, and then we'll be using the storage drawers to uh, store all of that, and so it'll be just here and there uh, running back and forth. But that is going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. We have diamonds. We can get them very easily now. We don't have to do much work. Um, so I'm super duper excited about that. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.